On today's show, we're headed back to school with some really cool 3D prints. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Richard. I'm your host here every Wednesday and live stream Saturday night. For the next few weeks, we're going to be on Sunday night just due to our hectic schedule before everybody goes back to school. Speaking of back to school, well, that's what we're talking about today. We've got some great prints for you to print out for your kids if they're going back to school or they're staying home and being homeschooled. These are fun, they're easy to do, they don't take up a lot of filament, and they don't take up a lot of time. So let's dive right in. But before we do, I'd like to ask you if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell so you get notified every time that we do a brand new episode and you don't miss a thing. Also, turn on those notifications and you also want to leave us a thumbs up and a comment down below about the usefulness of this video for you or maybe somebody you know with kids. All right, let's dive in. First and foremost, we've got the ultimate bathroom sign. Now, a lot of times kids have to go to the bathroom in the middle of class and teachers have to give them a key or, or some sort of hall pass, but this right here is the best hall pass of ever. Let's have a look at it. So this right here is the remember to wash your hands. May the flush be with you. Key tag. <laughs> That's actually a really giant key tag. But it's, you sure know when your kids are going to the washroom because um, they'll have to take this with them and bring it back to the teacher. Now this is a great little sign. It didn't take very long to print. Uh, all of the things that we're going to find today are mostly on Thingiverse. Uh, I think actually all of them are on Thingiverse today, and we're going to leave links down in the description below and show you exactly how you can get a hold of these different um, products that you can print for yourself. So this sign, I really like this. My wife found all of these things for kids to go back to school. She now does a lot of the research um, and prints a lot of the smaller prints that, that we need for uh, different shows, but this one was really, really cool. Next up, we have this really cool little tablet stand. And all you've got to do is just take your tablet, toss it in there, and let it hold it up. If your tablet doesn't have a stand, man, my tablet is filthy. If your tablet doesn't have a stand, or the stand is just not at the right angle, well, this is an easy print that you can do as well. This tablet stand, again, doesn't take very long to print. Uh, you can use up some of the leftover PLA or PETG or whatever material you may have lying around in your materials bin and uh, go ahead and uh, do a tablet stand for the kids. Next on the list are pen and pencil holders. Well, we all need pen and pencil holders. Um, for holding our pens and things that we need to go back and forth to our class or even just to keep things organized. This one here has a really cool leaf motif on it. Uh, it is printed in two parts and slides together very easily and really secures all of your pens and pencils and markers or whatever you may need inside this wonderful little uh, case. Next up, we have the man himself, SpongeBob who lives in a pineapple under the sea. In this case, this is just a little pen holder that you can put on top of your desk and you could hold your markers, your pencils, your pens, maybe your spare exacto knife for your hobbies. Um, you can hang your, your uh, clips off the front if you need to. This is a nice, cool little print. And uh, again, we're gonna put all of these links down in the description below. I really like this one. Even though I'm not a big SpongeBob fan, this is a great project because you can take this and allow the kids to paint it up um, and uh, really do something kind of cool with Mr. SpongeBob SquarePants. Next on the list is this handy dandy little door opener. So in the era of COVID-19, we don't, uh, we don't want to touch surfaces uh, and maybe spread the disease uh, or maybe even pick up the disease. So this little guy, you basically put it in your finger like so, and it'll help you to open up the door handles. So you can just use this to push down the door handles. It's got a little uh, hole there so that you can add a little 
uh, lanyard if you wanted to and you could put this around your neck so you've always got it with you and you never have to touch another door handle. So that one was kind of cool as well. Up next we have this little Apple Watch uh, charging station. You can put your Apple Watch in there. There's a place for the cord to go and it will recharge your Apple Watch so everything is up to date and uh, you know everything works great for you. And then you just put your Apple Watch back on and away you go. So that's kind of a neat little uh, print. Again, it doesn't take up a lot of filament. They don't uh, usually take up a lot of filament. Sometimes you're going to have to print stuff like this on a raft. But fortunately enough, this one has enough surface area on the bottom that you don't have to do that. Next up, we have a series of templates. We have the quad, quad rado. Quadrato, that's this one here, which is uh, a bunch of little uh, squares. Then we have the Circulo, which is this one, so you can make little uh, circles. Then we have the Ret... I, I, I'm sure this is in a different language, but this is all rectangles. And of course, we have triangles here. So you can make triangles. These are all uh, equilateral, so the triangles themselves... Just having a look there, you can see that all sides are the same length. And they come in handy if you need to trace something. And that's really good. Now, the next one coming up is all about fractions. So, if your kids are having a hard time with, with fractions, we know that this is a whole. And then we've got two halves, which make a whole. Then we've got one third, and we've got one quarter, and you can put all these together, and we've got one sixth, and one fifth, and what would, what's the smallest sliver that would go in there? Probably not a very big one. Um, we've got uh, one half again, we've got one tenth, or one twelfth and one tenth. We've got another one twelfth. And then we've got uh, one eighth. So if you want to learn how to uh, do fractions or the kids need to learn how to do fractions, this is a great way to do that. And you can just set these up anyway. So if we took away a third, how much would we be left with? Well, we'd be left with one half and some. <laughs> yeah, fractions were never my strong suit either. But this is a great way to teach your kid fractions or teach your children uh, fractions and uh, have something visual to show them instead of cutting a pie because we don't always understand how big the pie pieces are and somebody might get a bigger piece than somebody else and it might not be quite fair. Do you need another excuse to use up the leftover filament that you might have? Well, here's something that's really cool. This is a little clip that looks like an alligator and this is an all print in place a uh, little clip. Very cool, by the way. And we've got a couple of those. We also have paper clips. If you don't want to go out and buy paper clips, you can do paper clips like this, which will hold your papers together. And I have a couple of pieces of paper right here. You can clip your papers together. And it makes for a nice little add-on. And again, this is one of those things that you can use up your leftover filament on. You could do a whole tray of these, uh, depending on the size of your printer. And you've got ones that are a little bit more robust, and you've got ones like this. You can use them as page markers in a book. Um, if you don't want to go out and buy paper clips, because, uh, you know, um, with COVID and, and everything else that's going on in the world right now, we just want to stay home and, and do the things that we need to do at home. And this is a great way to do that. It is something that you can do together as a family. All of these projects um, that we're going to list in the description below for going back to school are all available for everyone to use um, when they're uh, going back to school. I really dig these little alligators because they're kind of neat. Because, again, you just put them on there and away you go. Look at that. Have you got more papers? And they've got little teeth in them, so they'll grab on pretty well. And 
you know, paper clips are something that we always need and we always use. They're better than staples and they're less sharp than staples. Uh, so those are some of the things that you can use up some of your leftover filament on. There's a ton of things on Thingiverse that you can go and find. And lastly, I've got one of the best things. I'm just going to move all of this off to the side. For the kid and all of us, everybody's got to have a pair of thug glasses. There we go. There's our thug glasses. Cool. Very cool. So you can print these in black or whatever color you like. You can paint them up. Um, they're definitely not sized for somebody with a big head like me, but uh, they are pretty cool. And uh, I kind of, if you want to live that thug life while you're going to school, um, or maybe you want to just be a little cheeky at home, these, this is something that you can print as well. So going back to school can be a lot of fun. And you get to see your friends, you get to play around, and you get to learn some stuff. And homeschooling's not bad either. If you've got the right environment, kids can thrive and uh, become just as smart as those that are going to uh, public schools or private schools, or private institutions, I should say. Now, that being said, there's a host of great 3D prints online. Go and search some up. Check out some of these if they interest you. I think you're going to find that uh, all of these are useful in some way, shape, or form and may fit your situation, either at home or back in the classroom. So I want to thank my wife for digging up all this stuff. Um, there's a couple of these things that I really like myself. I love this little door opener. I think this thing is just uh, the cat's meow. There's a ton of different ones online. There's ones for round doorknobs. This one is for the handle doorknobs, so you can push them down or you've got the handle and you can just pull open the door. Um, I really like this one and the fact that you can put it on a lanyard and around your neck. Um, latchkey kids will appreciate this because they can put their keys and their hook on the same lanyard. Uh, there's all kinds of great things out there for you to explore in the world of 3D printing, and I encourage you to do so. My name's Richard. This is The First Layer. I hope that you got something out of today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. We've got lots of great content, uh, over 300 videos worth of content uh, in our back catalog, and we're always producing more content for you. From news, reviews, and how-tos, this is The First Layer. My name's Richard Cleveland. And I just want to let you know that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. I will see you next time. Hey, just before I let you go, I just want to let you know that we've got our own store. It's called shopthefirstlayer.com. We're starting to really build it out. We've got a few t-shirts designs up there now. If you want to get some of our merch and help support the show, that is a great way to do it. Because all of the funds that come in from that help us to produce content for you and keep this show going as well as many other things by you liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel, leaving comments, all of that helps. It helps us to give you brand new content. So check out our store at shopthefirstlayer.com.